Excel versus Excel, how to fill in blank cells from above. In this episode, we will compare two ways of filling in blank cells using values above to show how much time you can save using the go to shortcut in Excel, which is activated by pressing the function key F5. Sometimes you find yourself staring at hundreds or thousands of rows of data where some of the cells have been left blank in order to make the row headings easier to read. If you want to sort or filter the list, you need to fill in the blanks. Here's an example. We have 500 rows of data with blanks in column B. Now you could manually fill in the blanks by copying and pasting, but this is a really slow approach. Let's see how much faster it is to use Excel's go to feature and some other nice shortcuts. On the left hand side I am going to manually copy and paste. On the right hand side I am going to use the F5 go to shortcut. After the comparison I will give you a step by step walkthrough of each shortcut I used. It took 16 seconds using all those shortcuts. Without the shortcuts, it took 30 seconds to do 40 rows, so it would take me longer than 6 minutes to do 500 rows. That's over 20 times faster, and much more accurate too. As promised earlier, I will give you a step-by-step -step walkthrough of each shortcut I used. I have also listed the steps in the description underneath this video. Expand the description to see them. Select all of the values and blanks in column B by clicking on the column B header. Press F5 to bring up the go to menu. Press Alt and S to select special cells. Press Alt and K to select all blank cells. Type in the formula equals cell above. Press Ctrl and Enter to fill the formula into all the blank cells selected. Select column B by clicking on the column header. Right click the selection border. Drag the selection border one column to the right, then drag the selection one column to the left. Finally, select paste as values to overwrite any formulas as values. If you liked this episode, Visit my blog at launchexcel.com where it's my mission to launch your Excel learning journey.